Hey, it is Xabi once again, and today I want to show you how to do two improvements to our bot. The first one will be quality of life change, and the more complex your bot becomes, the more important is for you. It is for you to understand whether it works or not, and whether some of its features are enabled or disabled. For example. Uh, whether you are using like HP potions or MP potions or maybe some autocast is enabled, all of those indicators, having, having all those indicators somewhere on the screen is very important. So uh, how to do them using IORUS? For that, there is a whole like bunch of functionality around overlays and um, we will be using a text overlay which will be drawn somewhere on the screen to show us that the bot is working. Those overlays are directly linked to triggers, so overlays are shown only when triggers, corresponding triggers in the same auras are active. For what that means for us is that that aura called is active, which currently tracks whether the bot is enabled or not, plus it tracks whether POIA window is active or not, it will also control visibility of that overlay. But like an, an off token, let's, let's just click on overlays and add a text overlay. So as you can see, there is a small window which gets created. Uh, and keep in mind that this window will be displayed on top of everything else, including the game. So this is the way for IORAS to display different stuff. And those overlays range from just a very basic text, which we'll be we will be using in this example, to full featured C-sharp overlays, which are drawn using Blazor. And there are two types of overlays, uh, one in the current version of the program and one in the newer one, which is alpha. But again, let's get getting, getting back to text overlays. For displaying the status, you can type something like working, and that's it. Or I tend to use an image of the potion. This is a Unicode symbol, which you can use to display, like, for example, if mana potions are enabled, then you can display blue, blue potion symbol, and if not, if HP is enabled, you can dra draw a red one. It's up to you. In this case, let's just uh, display a white one. Then click on the game window and dra drag that overlay somewhere. So like I will position it here, for example. Yeah, um, you can double click on it to lock it. And by the way, when you create an overlay by default, it is unlocked, meaning you can click on it. It is draggable, you can resize it and do all other things with it. But if I will click here, it will become locked and you can no longer drag it. And if click through mode is enabled, it will also be transparent to clicks. So for example, if I will enable the bot, as you can see, I can click, click here and it is just basically an image on the screen. It is just a status. And uh, now if I will disable the bot, this icon disappears. So just, just a very useful indicator that the bot is working. That is the few improvement which we will make. And the second one we will be towards hideout management. So when you are in hideout, in some cases, your bot could be enabled because you just got from the map, for example. So I have enabled it uh, again. And as you can see, the icon is showing that bot works. So if for some reason the bot will detect that my HP or MP dropped below a certain level, it will start spamming buttons. It is very inconvenient when you are doing something in the hideout and for some reason, bot detected that, that it has to, for example, consume mana potion and start spamming mana potion. That happens because you can like open inventory or do some stash management. This tends to happen. So we need some way of tracking that we are in the hideout to avoid that. So 
what we will do is we will be tracking presence on the screen of this small small icon and let's create an aura is and name it is in hideout then we will create let's let's let, let's use image search just usually usually i do it using color searches because it's just more efficient from performance perspective but for this example i will use image search so you zoom in and you can zoom in using mouse wheel as well so what we will be doing is right click on the field press select then select that image and now click on this button load from preview pane as you can see we instantly detected the match and just just for for improving the performance uh, you usually want to to crop the region to be as thin as possible as small as possible so for example in this case i would probably do with something like this or maybe even even this and if um Oh yeah, I, I zoomed, zoomed zoomed in a bit too much. Something like this. Something like this would do. Okay. Yeah. So and you want to tune that similarity threshold to be like ninety nine percent because there is no chance that there will be some something with that. And yeah, by the way, if we when i'm mouse over in my mouse over this icon it uh, drops a bit because the button is highlighted and it looks a bit different now so this is one of the ways of detecting that you're in the hideout also keep in mind that when this hideout management button will be expanded when this 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 bar will be expanded the bot will no longer detect that we are in hideout because there is no actually that image it, it got reversed a bit so i will leave it to you um like as a homework to fix that it is very easy to do all you have to do is just in that same aura add another image search and change change it so the aura will be active when either one image is shown or the or the second one so this this is how i usually do it in in, in pass of exam uh, but what's next so now we have an aura which can track that we are in the hideout and now we want to disable the bot if we are in the hideout and all you have to do is just add, a, add another link to is active but important important thing is do not forget to make it so or is active will be checking that we are not in the hideout because by default that or attracts that we are in hideout but we actually want quite the opposite we want for this condition to be active when we are not in the hideout so uh, that is why i have unchecked this checkbox and yes yeah, that's basically it now as you can see we are no longer in like active mode the bot is not working but if i will te teleport to the map it instantly enables itself and uh, and I, I also can disable it by pressing on a button uh, yeah that's it for today